Come out and join us. There's a lot of great racing left. Green flag is out, and car number 94 quickly moves to the front of the field for Chris Danielchuk. Danielchuk is the leader of the field, but already we've got a bid for the third spot, Kyle, and it is an impressive one. David Misha looking to the inside of Bill Cody for the third spot. A couple of cars out of shape. Travis Downey will appears to be one of them in the 42. Caution is out. We've got some more great racing action going on, but here comes the 31. Waterman making his presence known to the inside. Waterman is our leader, and who is right there with him? No surprise to us, Kyle, it is Travis Hydar. But it's not been an easy process for him as well. Back up front, Waterman is literally powering away. We've got a spin. The animations get together over in turn number two. Father and son go spinning, and it looked like a third car. That's Jeff Aslin in the seven. Battle for the lead, start finish line. Last year's champ to the inside, making a move for the top spot. Travis Hydar, car number 11 to the point. Here comes Ryan Waterman looking back to the inside, but can't make it stick on the bottom. And car number 16. While Hovey makes the move into the four spot, there's another battle that develops. Car 21 slipped up the racetrack. Brand new leader, it is Travis Hydar. But car number 67 has moved in all of a sudden. That's Aaron Clements. He's now in the top five. One lap to go. Ryan Waterman, Travis Hydar, Burt Willett, tussle for the win and the lead. Here comes Hydar to the inside off turn two, but will it stick? He tries. It does not stick. The car gets loose. Now here comes Burt Willett. He looks for racing room to the bottom. Off turn number four. It is Ryan Waterman looking for that victory he's been in search of. Ryan Waterman will take down the first victory of 2023, and here they come. Right at the start, it looks like Damon Pilardi had the advantage, but it's short-lived because the outside lane all of a sudden becomes the dominant lane in car number 23 for Devin Jensik picks up where he left off a year ago. Go off of turn number two. Oh, and they are stacked up, and Clement goes around. Clement gets crossed up. He comes back across. Somehow he saves the race car. And a two-time champion to Devin's right elbow in the form of Jeremy Lavoy. Lavoy wastes no time at all. He started his day with a problem. His truck broke down. He got here one of the last cars to come into the paddock area, but he is now the first car on the racetrack. Third limited late model track title. Right now, off to a good start. Trouble here. now. We've got two cars up in turn number one, the 23. Here for the final two, including Matt Clement and last year's champion, Rich Hammond, as they go back to turn one. Kevin Cormier is right there in that mix as well. And guess what? We've got a brand new leader off the second turn, down the back straightaway. Lavoy, who led the majority of the event, but not the lap that he wanted. Double checkers in the air. Matt Clement is our winner for the limited late models. The Napa Auto Parts duel set to go green. Noah Corner out of shape at the start. That's going to allow Woody Pitcat to get away. And we have a car airborne deeper in the pack. The 50 car. And that, of Jeff course, Gallup. is the Gallup machine. One of the wild drivers to come out of Wall Stadium. And behind him is Noah Corner tapping to the back bumper. Inside lane is racy. And all of a sudden, here comes John McKennedy. And right there with him is Anthony Bello. We change, big money. Matt Hirschman goes to the point. Anthony Bello, Matt Swanson, David Aru. Car spins, front straight away. The Matt Pup, George Bissett Jr. goes around in car number one. And they pile in in turn one. Trump. Couple of big hits up in turn number one. Caution is out. Dana and DiMatteo in the 76. Tommy Barrett in the four. $3,500. Off turn number four. Matt Hirschman is your winner. They come off turn number four. The inside lane has a slight advantage. Ronnie Silk dive bombs down to the bottom of turn number two. On the outside, looking racy is Pastriac. So now, Andrew Krause has moved into a transfer spot. Oh, oh, trouble now. Hard hit, looks like the 44. Bobby Santos. Kopchik coming to life. Now moves up in position to fourth. Kobe out of shape in turn four. Kobe slams the wall hard to the outside. Mad scramble. Off turn number four. Duel number two. Ronnie Silk will take down the win. Andrew Krause for second. Ford versus Ford. Green is out.
Field stacks up three wide, hit a return one. Everybody singles it down to double file as they work their way through the first and second corner. P.J. Evans gets way out of shape deep back in the field in Canterbury 12, but gathers it back under control. Whoa, we got one around on the back straightaway. Michael Bennett is in the wall. Jonathan Lewinsky low and Jordan Hadley, both cars that were inside of the top 10 on that last restart, torn up halfway down the back straightaway. And that's allowed the 36 of Eric Sands to pull right back to his rear bumper. The Seacoast Truck and Auto 36 as we got two around and into the wall. The 60 of Gabe Brown and Woody Pitcat in count number 91. Render through in the double zero, laps past the 61 of Ryan Olsen, and here comes the second and third place cars. Gluchaki to the inside, down the back straightaway. Derek Gluchaki spreads, threads the needle around the lap car of Ryan Olsen, and here comes Shaw. Shaw now wants to lead in turn four. Down the front straightaway, Welch gets out of the way. They're dead across the, they're dead even across the stripe. And it turns one and two, it is DJ Shaw with the lead. Shaw leads, Gluchaki second, Jimmy Renovrew Jr. And as they come off the fourth corner, that's the way they're gonna finish. And for the first time in 38 years, we have an ACT winner here at Stafford Motor Speedway. 20 laps, race number one for the SK Lights is underway off of turn number four, and it's Brian Sullivan in the outside lane that gets the jump. Here comes Tyler Chapman back to the bottom, and already further back, one car goes around in turn number one. That looks like it's the 75. Moves him up the track a tiny Trouble bit. Trouble turn three, a couple cars get together and others go sliding in, including Brandon Hunt. Caution is out again. Chikoski is involved. It looks like the Marquise car involved in the five. And Glace is there, bid for the lead up front. Brian Sullivan, Monaco Ford, comes off the turn. Chapman washed up the racetrack. Chapman hunts him down. Brian Sullivan, a former champion, off turn number four. They are side by side as they come to the stripe. Wow. Kyle Ricky, what is that? Well, unofficially, Brian Sullivan by five one thousandth of a second. Yep. Over Tyler Chapman. And we are racing SK style from the half mile here in Stafford. Side by side into the corner, and it is Blewett out front. He'll lead him up the back straightaway, tucking in the line just in front of Di Matteo, or does he? Here's Di Matteo to the bottom. Finds pressure to the outside from Christopher. Michael Christopher's car suddenly shuts down. The car that was running in the second spot, will he be Spin, able to oh, get... Spin, a couple cars get together off turn number four. Bowles goes around in the 76, and the caution flag is out. One other car involved, that's Kopech in the 16. Ten to go when they come back. Double fives are in the air for... Oh! Darting on the line, hitting at a ton in turn number four. It looks like... The number 46 machine. It's Rich Gautreau in the 45. That has tagged the outside wall up in turn number three. He's flexing his big muscles and tattoos as he come off turn number four. Jimmy Blewett is into the winner's circle here at Stafford, and the fans love it. And Ray gets a nice run for it, but Gamba Corda is running in the upper groove. By the time they come off the second turn, Tommy Fern has moved his car up as car number 10, Wayne Corey Jr. That car backpedaled to the extreme. Fern takes a peek at the bottom. Ray continues to guard the spot. By the time they get to the line, it is Fern who has a fender down underneath Michael Ray. Off the turn, side by side. It is an even matched, slightly ahead as they enter turn number three. Leader number two on lap number two becomes Tom Fern, and here comes Gamber Corda. Fern wastes no time at all. He continues to be the dominant car. Trouble, turn one. Couple of cars into the outside wall. Andrew Duran being one of them in the white 43. And also, after the fact, underneath the Napa billboard, we've got a car that came to a screeching halt. Close up that gap. Almost impossible, one might say, as Tom Fern continues now to string it out. Looking for the first feature of 2023, late model style here at Stafford, a familiar place to car number 92. Tom Fern is back in winning form here at Stafford. Matt Hirschman, Ronnie Silk, pedal to the metal. They are flying down into turn number one. 
Hirschman setting a blistering pace already. Off the turn, down the back straightaway. Ronnie Silk looking outside and in on race leader Matt Hirschman. Silk dies to the inside lane. Two wheels down on the lower tracks. Ronnie Silk has moved into position number one. Once again, this is the first lead change of the event. Well, they continue to have a good battle going on. Kopsik is now being worked over by Ronnie Williams. He continues to apply the pressure as the caution flag comes out. Bobby Santos, front straightaway, car 44. Brian Narducci may have been a part of that in car number three, and Santos is not happy as that window net comes down in a big hurry. Right sides on the number 88 of Woody Pitcat as well. He's going to go with four brand new tires. These guys are absolutely rocking down here. Here's the battle for the lead. Halfway up the back straightaway, Ron Silk to the inside, Doug Kobe to the outside. By the time they get to turn four, Ron Silk back to the front of the field here at lap 74. Pulls away in turn number three. Off turn number four. Silk is there. Pitcat moves alongside. The fans are jumping up and down in their seats, but it is Ronnie Silk to take down the win.